Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the $10 million chicken challenge I'm doing here on No Man's Land. As you can tell in the top left, we only have $1,344 towards our goal, but let's take a look at our top right. Our top right has $133,201, plus we have all this equipment here, so why is that? Because I can only make money in the top left towards this $10 million goal from selling chickens and eggs and other chicken products. I'm looking at maybe butchering chickens. But we're in the month of October and I don't have anything to really do except for get rid of the weeds on the field, so so let's go ahead and look into doing that. Here's the sprayer I'm going to go with. It is the Kubota XTS446. Now, I do not have that Kubota DLC, but this is a mod separate from that. It's going to cost me $132,300, but I have the money, but I don't want to spend it all because I need to fill this up. Let's go ahead and lease it. And yeah, we should be selling eggs pretty soon. We'll go ahead and get some herbicide. Let's see how much this costs. It's going to cost quite a bit, I think. Wow, $40,500. I think I might be needing to sell some more trees. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to while this is running. I need the money. So this is off and going. I just want to make sure it's working right. And yes, it is. Don't know if you can tell, but it is spot spraying and just taking out the weeds that are there. So it works out great. And we'll just get our head knocked off with that. Yep, doesn't say we need uh, weed anymore. While that's going, I'm gonna get some uh, log salt. So this log sticking out of here, I think it's just a statue now because I can't do anything with it. <laughs> it's just, it's gonna stay there. I tried to move it with super strength. Nothing seemed to work. Let's see here. I just got something popping up. Nope, nothing. So it's going to stay there and it's not auto loading in right now. Oh, well. We're over here to sell our first trailer of logs. Oh, wow. It took it all. $181,559 plus a $26,188 environmental score. And that might be my almost last trailer of logs because I think I'm going to start just set them up as directly selling. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on directly selling and then I'll put it back on storing later on. Or I might just leave it on selling. I'm not sure yet. But these ones on the outside here, uh, they cannot go back in there. I might sell them eventually. Right now they can stay. We're gonna open this up, change it to selling and let's go ahead and jump to the next hour, see how much we get. Okay, we are up over a million dollars right now. I won't know exactly how much that was until I do the math in editing. We're currently sitting at right around 38,000 liters of wheat in the chicken pan. So I'm going to go ahead and top it off all the way. I never did that. Never told you or showed y'all how much it can actually hold. And I couldn't remember, so that's why I didn't tell you. So I need to show y'all. There we go. Completely topped off at 100,000 liters. We have 180 female chickens who's about to reproduce next month, which is great. It's going to take a while for these to hit puberty. And we should be looking at some more income. And next month is the month we sell our eight. So more income towards our goal. Love it. All done here with the herbicide. Fields are looking good. No more weeds. And we are ready to jump ahead to November and get some eggs sold. I'm going to sell those at the end of the month, but I'm going to have some other stuff to do at the beginning of the month, so we'll jump ahead to then. Kind of worried about the whole wheat situation. I put 100000 in the pen, and I think I got right around 80000 left in storage. I don't know. It doesn't sound like much to me, but it sounds like plenty at the same time. I'm just not sure. All right, let's go ahead and jump ahead in the next month. We did get a sold animal income there of $1,270. Whoa, where did I get all the money? Oh, I still got the wood selling. Okay, the wood's still selling. That's where all the money came from. That's good because I'm probably going to need to make more fields. Let me go ahead and turn this off for right now. Take a look over at our chicken coop. Looks like we're down to 95,000 liters. We have 720 animals in there. So our animal income came because we had more animals. So $1,270. I'm not going to add that yet. I said in the past, I'll add sold animals at the next month. So I'll be a month behind there. But let's Let's see if there's any animals I can sell right now, which is, yes, there's 146 male chicks. Let's get rid of those. But also looking at the egg storage, we have 4,404 eggs in storage right now. Not much. I mean, we just started and we don't have many chickens producing eggs. Go ahead and get all our baby chicks sold. Got 146 of them, so we'll make $146, I guess. All done. 60, 60, and 26, so $146. I want to build something, but I don't have enough land. So let's go ahead and purchase Farmland 57. Here's what I want to put in. This is the straw processing. That's what it says. It makes straw hats and other straw items. I'm going to go ahead and just drop it right here. I mean, I do like how big this is and how much field I could put there, but I'm going to go ahead and start putting some production over here. And then with that, there's also a storage building, I believe, of some sort that goes with it. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, it's right here. Straw processing. 
perfect got it dropped in there well here's what i ended up with i have nothing too special i really want to add like some cars trees and bushes and other stuff i just didn't go all out with the decorating trying to save some time but the idea here is this building directly behind the trailer will make the product if i can get them the straw i had 800,000 liters of straw this is not all of it i just wanted to get some in here to get it going and i'll show you how i'll get rest of it over here in a little bit but the idea is that building's gonna make it that building's gonna store it because, let's take a look at it. This right here does not hold much. 4,000 liters, 5,000 liters, yeah, not much at all. It takes water, it takes straw, we got water, we got straw. Now, I'm gonna set stuff up where all this distributes over here automatically, and I'll show you how I do that in a little bit. And then this building right over here, we'll take a look at it, and it's just gonna store 200,000 liters of each, and once that gets full, I'll store right around the best sell price time, I'll sell it. This is just to get rid of all my straw. I might have to put in another building because how much straw we get. And I also don't know how fast it's gonna blow through it, so we'll see if we have straw left over over harvest time i'll do the math figure out if i need to get any more productions in for it but let me uh show you how i'm gonna get all this stuff over there without actually having to manually do it i did mention before this is a distribution silo so it's got this nice little trigger over here i can open it up and i can start distributing some of the stuff just go down here on the right side wherever the straw is there's a straw right there it's on storing change that to distributing and done that's it now i don't have to activate this unless i want something to come over here but i need to fill this up with water Where's the water at? I'm gonna go ahead and set this on distributing, but it holds 6 million liters of water. And I'm gonna go ahead and get 6 million liters of water in here. We're now at the end of the month of November, which is the best selling time for eggs. So we need to go ahead and sell it. Looks like the price dropped some. I don't know, that's kind of weird. But it says I have $21,936 value, euros, I guess. Let's get those checked out and loaded up. Here we go, got them all loaded up. Let's go ahead and get it emptied out. Let's see how much money we make. Just a little over 5,000 liters there. I think I already said the number. There we go, $21,723 and $3,133. That is awesome. Number in the top left just updated. I'm not sure where it's at. I didn't do the math quick enough. So <laughs> y'all will know the number. I won't know until I edit it. We're now in the month of December, sitting at a little over $2 million. Let's take a look at our finances here. Last month, we did have a sold animals of $1,416. So I'll add that to the total now. Now with this next month coming up, we are going to have quite a bit of more chickens produced because instead of 180 producing chickens now, we're going to have 180 plus the 261 producing chickens now, which is 441 chickens are going to be producing eggs now. About 6,000 liters a month is kind of what we're doing here. I'll know in a better estimate by harvest time, I guess. I mean, it's not going to be perfect because they didn't start off full. But once I do get them completely full, I could do the math and figure out how much wheat they go through whenever they're completely full. And I'll know what the max amount of wheat I need for each pin is at full capacity. But we got nothing to do in December, so we'll go ahead and jump ahead. We are now in the month of January. It looks like we got some sold animal income. Let's take a look at that helicopter flying by over there. Yep, 1,380. That's probably about to go up because I need to get rid of these male chicks. And you know what? I'm lazy. I'm just going to go ahead and sell them right out here and take no profit from them. Just $82. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just sell them right here. I'm not going to get any profit off of it. So we'll hit sell and sell just to kind of save me on some time and I can get going. I was kind of surprised this was only $1,380 because I'm having more chicks produce. Oh well. Well, it doesn't appear that this is moving any. Uh, 1380 is, I believe, what I left at, what I ended up at. I'm now in the month of February. $1,380 is what it was at the beginning of last month. So I'll go ahead and start popping that up there whenever it shows up. There we go. $1,380. Cha-ching. I don't know what the total is in that top left right now. I'm looking at the top left of my screen right now. I don't... I know it's not there. I know it's not there, but I don't know what the total is, but I know it's not much. And I know we got a long, long road ahead. Ah, uh, this is going to take a while. You know what? I was talking about how I was confused that they didn't uh, make more chickens, sell more chickens. Uh, the reason is, I guess this is the reproduction and this was the purity one. They were both at 50 that one month I was looking at them. So I thought they were the same thing. They're not. That could be why. Just got some more animals sold. Let's see what we got there. $1,410. Let's go ahead and pop that up because I don't plan on selling any more animals. The animals I do have in here, that may be male baby chicks. Let's see. There are some. Go ahead and sell all those. Don't know how many I got. Got 33 of them. We'll go ahead and sell them. Not going to make any profit because they cost a dollar each to transport. I just want them out of there to make a room for more females. Now looking at my animals, these are the ones I started with, 180 of them. They're at 14 months, and then I got these other ones at six months. They are on the reproduction scale now. 
So at the end of this month, these 261 are going to lay eggs and reproduce, I guess, make more chickens, which is great because now it's going to start alternating every single month. I'm going to be getting income towards that top left. So let's go ahead and get to the next month and see what we got. That sold animals is quite a bit higher, 2,145. Let's see if that's what it actually says. And I just noticed I got loan interest. I forgot I had a loan. 2,145. Hey, we'll go ahead and pop that up in the top left. But let me take care of that loan now that I'm thinking about it because I'll totally forget. I owe 89,661. And looks like I do have 16 baby male chicks. Let's get rid of those. Bye. I have that straw hat accessory production in over there and I wasn't paying attention to it, but we're out of straw now and we're out of straw over there. So I don't think I'll ever have enough straw to keep that running for a full year. We're back over here. I've got $1,468 from sold animals this month. Let's go ahead and add that to the top left. It's really not much money. I'm telling you the eggs is what's going to be making us money, but I'm playing it safe this year and trying to figure out how much wheat it's going to use and how much wheat I need. But I got some eight males right there let's go ahead and get those sold now looking at this we're going to have all these chickens going to produce and all these chickens are going to produce by next month also so we got a little alternating going on there which i really like that's pretty nice i'm not sure what the best month to sell these chickens are i think it's like 24 months maybe i don't know this might be the max price of four dollars but i'll get them sold off and whenever i do go to sell these i'll transport them probably might be able to tell on the top right there just for a second there's two different sold animals i think that's because them selling and them selling but i could look at the total right here she's got three thousand one hundred and ninety two dollars let's add that to the top left you know i did notice i'm paying a lease i forgot all about that didn't know i was leasing something but we'll go ahead and buy that right now so i don't have to pay for that anymore now it looks like we have eight male chickens how do we keep ending up with these males? <laughs> we are now in the month of July, which is an amazing month because we get to harvest. But sold animals, 1501 up in the top left, right? Let's see what it says here. Yep, $1,501. Let's add that to the top left now. Cha ching making that money. Looks like next month, all three of these are going to produce some chickens. That's pretty awesome. I like that. But I am now completely out of male chickens this thing is completely full of nothing but female chickens i'm gonna get this filled up and see how much wheat we have left before we do this harvest and i want to do a little math see how much each one of these pins run each year right around there and i'll round up of course time to do a little math here we started with 195,000. i'll put the number up there liters of wheat and right now we are at 112,000. blah 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 liters of wheat so we ended up using 82,972 liters of wheat in the last 12 months ish now i'm gonna round that up quite a bit. I'm going to round that up to 100,000. Each one of these pins will use about 100,000 liters. With each one of these pins using the 100,000 liter and my harvest is almost 200,000 liters, I'm going to take the chance and go ahead and get another chicken coop. I'm not going to have enough time this episode to do it, but we're going to get another one. And then I'm going to have to look into expanding these fields. This is obviously not enough wheat. We need more space. We need more fields. We need more wheat coming in. You guys, two chicken pens at full max capacity. Yeah, no, that's not gonna that's not gonna get us to our goal as fast as I want us to. But hey, that's all the time we have for this episode, and I really appreciate y'all stopping in and watching. Y'all haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave those down in the comments section. It really mean a lot. I do record ahead quite a bit, so I probably won't implement it on the next episode. But until next time, y'all take care.